How are you, man? I'm all right, you know. Yeah, I'm here, man. Mm. Can't complain. The world's changed since I last saw you, bro. Like, oh, mate. Don't even get me started on all of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How was the lockdown for you? Um, I was on tag, innit? Anyway, so I, right, I, okay. I just, just as, just before lockdown started, I just come out, got bail, mm -hmm. and I was on tag for 17 months. So right. I was literally on tag for most of the lockdown. Literally, right, okay. if not all, yeah, all of it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So really, like a lot of the restrictions then, had it not been a lockdown, it would have oh, applied I, to you anyway. Yeah, Is that I still would have been going home at nine o'clock. Do you know what right. I'm saying? Every night. But um, but to be fair, that whole lockdown, I literally was in the studio every day. Mm -hmm. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to go. So I was just locked in. It probably done me really good, to be fair. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Able to focus. Yeah, yeah. I've just build. smashed out bare albums like hundreds of songs do you know what I'm saying So is it literally like is that an exaggeration or is it literally nah, no, that's hundreds literal. of yeah, songs yeah yeah it's all there on the computer bro we can look obviously I just dropped I Ain't Perfect which is that one yeah and then Right Foot Forward that's the next one this is the next one and the next one that's like four albums there cause mm -hmm. and I've got like leftover songs that I haven't you know yeah. what I'm saying so how do you select what goes onto the albums um, when, when you're making so much? Yeah. It must be you, tricky. You know what? Um, I changed I Ain't Perfect like a hundred times. So the original I Ain't Perfect I had before I went to prison mm -hmm. completely changed because like I came out and then I was making different music. So I had the album ready before I went to prison. Yeah. And obviously I went prison over the album. Right, yeah, yeah. But when I came out and then I made this these, these new sets of music, I just felt like that stuff fitted not only with the time but just with how I was feeling as well do you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. so I just ended up changing it all around and yeah do your moves change like regularly around music do you have to kind of put stuff together and be like right now it's got to go because mm. next week I'm going to feel different mm. and we're going cruddy again and it's all changing yeah, like yeah 100% but but um, well, that's the, the beauty of making like where I've had that time where I could just make bare music mm-hmm Anything that I'm feel like I've got all different types of songs that fit all different types of genres. Do you yeah, get me? Yeah, yeah. And I've got so I'm allowed. I can just go all right, cool. That goes with that. That goes with that, and so forth. You get me? And I yeah. just made it work like that. It's like a fucking buffet of K Coke music yeah. now, isn't it? Like, I, want, <laughs> I want to put that in there yeah, and that yeah, and that. Yeah. Um, an interesting track that you put out during the lockdown is Coke Spiracy. Mm -hmm. You say a lot of stuff in that, yeah. and obviously, like, there's a lot of artists that do that lane. Yeah. And with them they do it so often that it's just they just that's their thing mm -hmm. okay yeah, he's dropping another one but mm -hmm. with you that's not really like you're not really outspoken on like the conspiracy side of things nah did it feel like a risk putting it out yeah of course my whole my whole account's been shadow banned isn't it really yeah because yeah. of that yeah. yeah 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 okay yeah but obviously I, I feel very strongly about everything that's happening right now do you get mm -hmm. me in the world and so yeah, I felt like I had to voice my opinion because I didn't. I felt like um, nobody was. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it to me, it feels like everybody's scared to to express an opinion about something, and mm -hmm. and and I understand why now because like people are really their accounts are being shut down. Yeah, yeah. They're being they're being shadow banned. They're being filtered. Like they're just wiping people off the internet. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just for having an opinion now. So yeah, for real. So yeah. But um, I just felt like it was something I had to do, man. Mm. It was how I, I really feel strongly about it. I still feel really strongly about it. And um, yeah, that's how it was. Would you consider yourself like much of a conspiracy theorist? Nah, nah. I'm I'm a factual person. Right. I'm, I don't go on conspiracies. Everything I'm talking about is factual. These There's stuff. Evidence for majority of the stuff that I spoke about in that song, mm -hmm. it's happened now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a whole, what, year and a bit later? Mm. It's all coming true, no? And it's still happening. Yeah, COVID yeah. passports are coming. Do you know what I'm saying? The, even the, Lockdowns are still going. The vaccinations, People, the bro. Vaccinations, like, even the countries now that are saying everyone has, has to, to get, get it. mandatory vaccines. Now we're here. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? When I was saying this before, it was a conspiracy theorist. Now, yeah, is, yeah. It, is it? Do you know what I'm saying? So This is the mad thing that I've found. is like, yeah, a lot of the stuff at the start. Because I've got a similar mindset to you. Yeah, yeah. I like... 
I don't think it's like microchips and shit like that. Like we're carrying phones around. That's the microchip. That's yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. That's the no, track. The, the microchips like, are coming. You think so? Hundred percent. But see, a hundred percent, they're coming. Hmm. Yeah, cool. We got phones and that, but bro, trust me, they're coming. Yeah. You get me? You're gonna be scanning your hand in the shop just to get in and that. That's yeah. what's gonna happen soon. You reckon? It's gonna be hard for them to do it because there's gonna be a lot of people that ain't gonna to want to go down that way, mm -hmm. but. They're, that's where they're going with it. They're yeah, already easy. The Pentagon's in, already made these little microchips that can detect COVID in your body now. Then this is how they're gonna do it. They're gonna use it for your safety. Do you get mm -hmm. me? Like, I just think it's all ridiculous. And and the fact that majority of the population cannot see what's going on right now yeah. is really scary. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really scary. Like, how does nobody see what's happening? Yeah. How is it out there so blatant and so in your face, but yet? No one, no, no one's questioning it. Like, mm -hmm. and it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, the world's crazy right now, bro. Yeah. It really is, man. I've got people close to me that I've spoken to on this level mm. and they're on the other side. They're like, no, no, no just get it done. Mm. You'll be like, everything will be fine. And it's like, I'm just like, how do you know? Why, like, we're all looking at the same information. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We all get our information from the same but place. I don't how think are we are all looking at the same information. Those people are listening to the news every day. Right. They're listening to mainstream media. People like us are getting information from other places and mm. other sources. Do you get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And majority of this information is filtered. You can't find it everywhere. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Unless you've Facts. got the right... And this this is the scariest thing now. Like, even for instance, this whole ivermectin thing. Like, there's scientists mm. out there that approve ivermectin, ivermectin works. It cures the COVID thing. It's proof. Scientists have done it. But it's banned from here. You can't use it here in England. Right. But it's proven in other countries that it works and doctors have been using it and curing their COVID patients. So why are we not using it? Right. Why are we being forced to take a vaccine, an, an experimental vaccine mm -hmm. that no one don't even know what the long-term effects are? And now boosters. And now boosters. Do you get me? So yeah. now I'm, I haven't got no vaccine. I don't plan on taking one either. But then there's people now that are onto their fourth one. Mm -hmm. So so what? where is this going? Like, are we going to need a vaccine every six months? Yeah, it's looking like it. You know, right. in France, there's one that the passport just naturally expires if you don't get your booster. Well, there you go. So this is what I'm saying. Like so this, this is the scary got... thing that we're yeah. walking into now. So boom, now, now like you, they'll be able to cut off your food. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. You literally won't be able to eat if you don't play by the system's agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where we're heading to. And I can't believe how people want that or, or are allowing it to happen or, or can't mm -hmm. see it coming. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just saying, yeah, it blows my mind every day, bro. You get me? Like, I'm really scared of the future. I'm scared of where this is all going. I'm scared for my kids. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm. it's really uncertain times right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Forget, like, forget the road and that, because even that's a, a stress <laughs> on man's head, but yeah. this other stuff is different. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I just felt like I could see it coming, and I'm... Oof, I just had to talk about it, it because it's no one else's. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I felt like someone had to do it. Someone's got to say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm glad you did, though. I'm glad mm. you did because I saw, especially like when I was looking through the Instagram comments and the YouTube comments and stuff, there mm. is a community of people that are like, yeah, he's actually saying the Bro, stuff. There's like... millions of people that feel the way we feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're just not being heard because mm -hmm. all their accounts are being shadow banned or they're all being taken off the internet. It's all like, uh, what's so, the Do you know what I'm saying? So is this, this, is, this is the next, this is the next thing. How, there's no freedom of speech. Mm. You can't, there's no freedom of thought. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. scary times, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You'll get taken down just for, for anything these days. And mm. like, a lot of people are really dependent on social medias now. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like everyone's businesses are run by social medias now. So, and this is the next thing, how they've got people locked in because no one don't want to lose their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. So every p enough people probably feel and think like me, but just don't want to say it because they don't want to fuck up their oh, money. Yeah, massively. You know there's there's going to be a huge amount of people yeah, that yeah. do feel that way, but 100%. they don't want to say yeah, anything But publicly. it's going to come to a crossroads eventually. Mm -hmm. And we're not there yet, but it's coming. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there's other countries like Austria, for instance, they've just mandated yeah, vaccines yeah, yeah. for everyone. Everybody. It's mandatory vaccines for everyone. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen when that comes here? Yeah. Do you get me? There's going to be millions of people that think. But you know what? There, there's loads of people out here getting these fake passports as well. I wanted to talk mm -hmm. on this here because you people that don't want to get the vaccine and are getting this fake passport, you people are the problem as well because you're conforming. You get me? Right. You're conforming. You're saying it's okay for us to get this um, 
passport. It's okay mm. for the passport, or there's no way out of it. So I'm gonna get the fake vaccine passport, mm. and I'm gonna. But you lot are conforming. Okay, but what? So what about the people that are restricted with travel and stuff like that? Because but who is restricted for travel? No one's not restricted. But there's countries we it's can't illegal. get to now. They're, they're who? What countries? I know. I know. I know people that have gone to red countries with no vaccine, no test, and right. come back with no vaccine and no test. Okay. So if you know what you're doing, like all of this stuff is legislation. It's not even law. Right. Okay. Even yeah. even um, quarantining for 14 days, you don't have to do that stuff. Right. But people don't know it. Like it's legislation. It's not the way, law. The way that it's put out. Yeah, yeah. Like... So obviously people believe that. Boom, blood. Everyone got their second vaccine and still couldn't travel. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I know people that's going to red countries and coming back with no tests. Right. No it's vaccine, no test. So make it make sense. Hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It really doesn't. It doesn't. Bro. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. But One, yeah. uh, you know what? I liked the tinfoil hat touch in the video. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that, bro. Do you know what? I was just trying to be a little bit um, creative with it and not be too serious about it as well. Yeah. But also just, you know what I'm saying? Have the elements in there because this is this is what they say about people that... So cool, I'll throw on a tint of foil hat, innit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put the newspapers all over the walls. Mm -hmm. It was like my cheapest video ever, but it was really effective, you know what oh, I'm yeah, saying? Oh, yeah, massive, like, yeah. simple and effective, yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Sometimes newspapers that's the way, all, innit? Just plastered newspapers everywhere, mm -hmm. tin foiled everything. Yeah, yeah. That was it, let's go for it. It you worked, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. worked. Thank you, man, thank you. So, okay, while we're, while we're touching on conspiracy theories and that, yeah. obviously, like, I'd, after watching that and listening to that track, I proper thought that we were going to end up down like the rabbit hole on some serious topics. Yeah, but it's yeah. interesting that you're not so much of a conspiracy theorist. Was there any wild conspiracies about you when you signed to Rock Nation? Yeah, everyone said I was Illuminati and fucking all of that bollocks. <laughs> but no, nah, there weren't, weren't a lot though. Do you know what it is? I think my character and my principles as a person, where I've come from, who I am, mm -hmm. I think I'm, my character's way too strong for all of that. Like, right. the people who know me really know me. People who listen to my music know who I am as a person. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And and I stand on everything that I am. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I'm very vocal about everything as well. Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't just do the gangbanging stuff and, like, I'm... I'm a family man as well. I got, mm -hmm. do you know what I'm saying? Like I, I talk about all different aspects of my life. I'm not, I'm just not that guy. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I believe in God, and like I'm, and and I'm a man, I'm a child of God. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's that's where I stand with everything. So mm -hmm. if you know me, then you'd know it's that. But but that was one of the conspiracies I heard about me. Still, yeah, I think like the Rock Nation deal, obviously. It's, I mean, it's a topic I think that's come up every time we've sat down. Mm. And you know what it is? Every time we finish, when we finish the conversation, and then when it comes to our next conversation, I always have another question. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know what, that's actually, I wanted to ask yeah. about that as well. It was such, but it was such like a, a landmark thing as well, not just for you, but for, for UK, UK rap. 100%, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like, he's been signed to Jay-Z's late, like it was such a yeah, it breakthrough was, thing. Yeah, 100%, it was unheard of at that time in, yeah, really. in UK gangster music for sure, road rap or yeah, yeah. whatever it is you want to call it, do you get me? It was unheard of. But even Jay-Z's interest in the UK as well, it started, yeah, yeah. like at least as far as we see as the fans, it started with you, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Which is a groundbreaking thing. Obviously we've covered all of the stuff in the past and you've spoken a million times about that situation yeah, yeah, then, yeah. so we won't cover it now, but... <coughs> The question I came up with this time was if they approached you again now. So if Tai Tai called, yeah, it was like we've got we've got a situation for you again. We mm. want to we want to get involved again. Would you resign to them, bro? I love Tai Tai. Tai Tai proper held man down when mm -hmm. when he was with man. Like when they had man, he proper believed in man. Like he held man down even when I was in jail. I was speaking yeah, to Tai yeah. Tai from my cell. Do you get what I'm saying on the phone? Like he's telling me to just hold my head and that. So if the deal was proper. And if it if it made proper sense, then why wouldn't I? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, if the deal was proper, though, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the yeah. lot, I felt like I felt like they didn't do enough for me at that time when I was with them. I felt like um, I felt like he didn't. They didn't press the button on me like they could have in it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Press the button and and maybe boosted my confidence a little bit more to go and do more. Do you get me? Especially just yeah, coming yeah. out of prison and stuff. So yeah, but yeah. If, if the deal was right, then yeah, I probably would. Mm -hmm. But the deal would have like... to be right. But do you know what? I'm really comfortable doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I just, I, 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 the way I work and I'm, I'm like, wake up tomorrow, like, fuck it, drop that song. 
Right, I'm yeah, that yeah. kind of guy. Do you get uh-huh. me? Like, fuck it, I'm doing it today. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just, yeah. uh, I'm impulsive sometimes. So maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. I don't know. But sometimes I just like to work how I work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So are you independent now? Yeah, yeah. So it's hundred percent all your own independent, thing. Yeah. Right. When you um when you were going through that situation and then suddenly you're signed. And then, because it was Rock Nation and Sony, right? So mm-hmm. Sony was holding things in the yeah, UK. Yeah, Sony, RCA. Coming from the lifestyle that you were living yeah. and now suddenly having like corporate meetings. And, yeah, yeah. Was that a culture shock for you? Like sitting down in like organised rooms, times to be places and mm, things like that? Yeah, no. Some days, some days, you know, like some days waking up early in the morning to go to radio was just like, bro, I remember my manager used to be on my door, bro. I just be like, I don't even want to answer this, bro. He'd be like, you okay? Through the letterbox and that, like, you okay? Come on, man, we're going to be late. You yeah. get me? But I don't know. It was cool, man. I I was just really excited for me. Just, I'm, 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 I've come fresh off the road. I'm really, I'm just really excited to, to explore this new adventure that's, that's mm-hmm. about to happen. Do you get what I'm saying? So it was all good for me, man. New learning experience. I always like to learn new stuff as well. So yeah, yeah. it was all good, man. A good way to see the industry, I guess, yeah, because yeah, you're getting yeah. taken straight into yeah, the yeah, important yeah. places rather yeah. than yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, it was good, man. When you had that deal, obviously, like it's well documented the the case that you got, like you were arrested, attempted yeah. murder, and you spent what was it, seven months? Seven and a half. Seven yeah. and a half months mm-hmm. in prison. At that point, and when you were going through that, did you have support from the label? Or was it kind of like Do you know what? Yeah. Over there? Um, so obviously, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but um, I I I finished Pure Coke two before I signed my deal. Right. Yeah. So um, the deal was with the label that I would release. I signed the deal, but I had Pure Coke ready. Right. Okay. So the deal was that I would release Pure Coke Volume Two, mm-hmm. and then move on to the album with the label. Right. Okay. So I was supposed to release the album somewhere in I think the 4th of April and on the 1st of April I got arrested right so so this is what happened now so um the, whoever pre-ordered the album got it right okay but then but the album was pulled they pulled the plug on the album do you get it so so the album didn't come out but who got the out who pre-ordered it got it because they paid for it right okay so it was a weird one so it's like i literally didn't make no money off pure coke volume two and it was one of my hardest albums do you mm. get me but but um yeah because the out the label ended up pulling the plug on the album because they thought i don't know if there was stuff on the album that might have got me in trouble in the case i don't right. i don't know what they was thinking but rather than just let the album go because it probably would have done really well off the back of all the press and that. I was going to say the that. publicity anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Off the back helped. of all of that. So obviously, yeah, um, that was one of the things that really confused me, mm. and I and I felt like I'd really got the short end of the stick with. Do you get me? Do you feel like that being arrested was like a sliding doors moment? Do you think if you hadn't been arrested? Yeah, I was on a roll. Volume two would have come out. I, yeah, I would have been. Form, I, I'm, like, volume two would have killed it. Yeah. Yeah. If I was, if I, bro. I, I was the hottest thing on the road at this time. Do you get me? There's Thanks. no doubt about it. P- Pure Coke Volume 2 is one of the hardest albums to ever come out of the UK. It's a fact. Mm-hmm. Pure Coke Volume 1 was a classic, but Pure Coke Volume 2, that, the, the deep songs, the the road songs, the, it had everything. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it just wasn't... I wasn't able to... One, it didn't drop how it was supposed to drop. So everyone... It, it pulled the plug on it. Mm-hmm. And then it got leaked. Do you know what I'm saying? So right. everyone who, who pre-ordered it... So the couple of thousands of people that pre-ordered it, someone then just put it out. Someone then just put it on YouTube. So right. now I I didn't make no money off thing, but it went everywhere. By the time I've come out of jail now, it's an old album. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? I still shot a couple of videos for it, but the 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 whole gas of it's gone now. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like a whole seven and a half months later. Mm-hmm. It's an old album now. Do you get me? So I felt like I, if I was out for it, I would have been on a roll. You get me? That that album would have killed it. I would have went straight back into making the I Ain't Perfect I was supposed to make at that time. Yeah. And then obviously just just that whole getting arrested put my whole deal under pressure. Do you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So now I've come out seven and a half months later. Um, the guy who signed me to Sony's been fired. They've got a new M- they've got a new, new MD, MD in yeah, now. Yeah. He's getting rid of everyone. Mm-hmm. No one's left on the label. He's come in and cleared everything. Right. They don't even know if they're going to keep me. I don't even know if I got a deal or not. 
Do you get me when I come out of jail? I'm mm-hmm. still floating. Like that's why I just made I I I'm back and put it out because I was I was like fuck it if they're not gonna think I'm just gonna keep my own buzz going. Do you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So I made I'm back went off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah, then they obviously Ty Ty went in there and spoke to the new MD and said if you're not gonna keep him we're gonna take him somewhere else. And then obviously they was like cool we'll, we'll keep him on and let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. But then it was just like, it weren't like, all right, cool, let's make an album. It was like, all right, make a single. We need a single. Because remember, they've signed me. We're like nearly a year in and nothing's happened. Do you know what I'm saying? Nothing's happened. We're just, we're a year in and nothing's happened. Mm -hmm. So now they're pressuring me to fucking make a single. You know what I'm saying? Or do something. Like, I don't know whether they wanted to get revenue back or I don't know what it was, but... Mm -hmm. That, that was the kind of... I, I didn't have that time where I could sit down and just make an album. You know what I'm saying? And to be fair, my whole headspace around that time wasn't even that great as well. I was well. about to ask that about... Yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. Should, what does that do to your mental health, that whole journey where you're... Yeah, yeah. It was, the, my like whole, you say, the hottest thing on the road, signed to Jay-Z's late. Like, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. That's something that every artist strives for, at least at mm, that time anyway. That mm-hmm. was the pinnacle. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. And then for that to happen after, what did that do to you? Yeah, no, it was hard, man. Um, blood, like I said, I'm I'm come from the road, bro. So like, man, still got road issues going on. Do mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Like that, that they don't stop. On top of that whole music scenario, man's yeah, got yeah. real road issues going on, like real stuff. You get mm-hmm. me? So yeah, my 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 head was just all over the place, man. Catching cases every other week. Yeah, feds are super on me. Yeah, it was just it was a crazy time, man. With the the tensions and like the issues on road mm. and then being a rapper, especially at that point being like the hottest rapper in the streets. Mm. Obviously as a rapper, you want to be out and about. You want to be booking shows. You want to be doing interviews. You want to be everywhere. You want to be seen. But then when you've got these issues with the other lifestyle, yeah, you've constantly got to be on edge. Like you've always watched, do you know what I mean? It's one of them things where it's like, yeah, you know, it's for me, bro. I've, I've been right. Like, remember before I've been K Coke for so long. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and before I was K Coke, I was famous on the road for other stuff. Do you yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. like, I've always majority of my life since I was a teenager, I've had to move a certain way. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? Obviously, before and and as as time's gone on, it's got a little bit more intense because I've just got bigger as yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got older. But it's always been the same. I've always had to move correct. I yeah. always have to know who's where and what and why. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just it's just something that I'm used to. Is there a level of anxiety that's just always there in a sense that literally you I'm, could run I, into trouble I'm tomorrow not, if you I'm go to the wrong sure place? I'm not sure about anxiety, but paranoia for sure. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Paranoia mm-hmm. kicks in. And is that just like a just a constant it must never yeah, go it must yeah, just yeah. always yeah, even yeah, yeah, yeah. at your house you must just always have like I have to keep the address safe like. yeah 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 it's, it's just, but it's just where I'm so used to living like that mm. I just don't know anything else now do you know what I'm saying I don't know what it's like to walk down the road and not look over your shoulder I don't know what that feels like mm. do you get what I'm saying I, and I've lived this life for so long that I don't know anything else yeah so it's just it's just the way a way that I live and I don't know nothing else. Do you think you will ever be able to live without that? Um, I, I, of course, I guess at some point, I, I guess at some point, but I guess while I'm doing music, while I'm still in the limelight, while I'm still k mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think that that's going to be all the way possible. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, being a rapper is probably one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, isn't it, they say, so. Well, I mean, I think when, I think, yeah, but then when you, couple it with the lifestyle that's preceded it do you know what I mean the mm. lifestyle you've come from into rap mm. the problems don't stop no you've, no no you've no, changed your sure. career but the no, problems but are still there and they will always be there music still send me the road you get me like, yeah with some rappers they don't come from that background yeah they yeah. talk like it but yeah yeah we know they don't yeah do you know what yeah, I mean yeah. but then there's other ones that really are about it well, that's what I'm saying and I've really come are. from those real problems you get me like yeah, when yeah, you hear a man saying certain things on the record like I've really come from those things so mm-hmm a man like my everyone knows do you get me my ends are still super active you get me mm-hmm. it's still going off down there so yeah so I don't I don't, I don't see it changing anytime soon for yeah. in the foreseeable future but I guess at some point I hope you get peace one day bro one like. day yeah we were praying for peace of mind man that's the new flex right now yeah. peace of mind going back to the case of course like 
it was a major crime that you didn't do. You were acquitted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was at a point where, like we said, it's a tipping point for you. Mm -hmm. But I've noticed a pattern and I find like a lot of the times with artists that have come from a road lifestyle, maneuvered, got famous, getting things happening, they get arrested constantly. Yeah, certain yeah. charges. They might have even done it. Done it. Just yeah, get arrested. Yeah, yeah. Do you think the police mentality there? So like, let's talk about your case specifically then. Like, I know it was very circumstantial. It was because your phone was in the area. You lived like I two lived, minutes I lived away two or something. Minutes so away from where it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it was a case of we can nab him and he's got away with all the other stuff we yeah. want to get him for? 100%. We can get him for this, yeah, chuck yeah, him in the bin. Do you think 100%. like that's the mentality? Yeah, yeah. The feds. They don't. They don't like. And we we can be honest about this. But there's there's lots of police officers out there that that are young and probably really like my music right now. Do you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? There is. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time I got nicked, and uh, there was a fed there, and he could not believe that I've just walked in there, and he wanted me to sign something and take a picture and everything. <laughs> and you know I'm at the desk, like I've just been arrested. I'm looking at my man like blood. Are you, are you for real? Like, is it me? but um. But the feds, they do have a problem with people that are coming from certain places and trying to make it out. They do. It's, mm -hmm. it's a fact. They've done it to everyone. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like everyone that's come from a real place and is trying to make, they, they get the most trouble. Mm -hmm. It's fact. It's happened over and over again. It's, it's, it's been on repeat. Like yeah. you can, no one can deny it. Do you know what I'm saying? It baffles me because it's like, there's so many artists that can transition out of that lifestyle, 100%. make legitimate money, 100%. doing what they do. They make music, then they're off, they're off crime now because they, they realise the bag is so big over here 100%. and they're doing club shows. They're in studio. Yeah. It's more, and, way and, more fun than and, standing and now, out. And the, also, like, it gets to a stage where, like, I don't want to fuck up this money now. So I'm not going to do nothing that can fuck up this money now. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. If, you let the, if you let man live and breathe, mm -hmm. man will focus on the bag. Yeah. And we'd be able to help other people do that as well. Do you know this what I'm saying? Thing. But I don't know, man. Come on, man. We know how this system's set up, man. We know what the system's set up for. Mm. Do you get me? Do you think it will ever change? No. Bro, <laughs> look, look, we're still living in the craziest times, man. You get me? Like, yeah. the world's fucked. The people in power don't care about the people. That's not so. How does it feel when you're seven and a half months in prison for a crime that you didn't do? Horrible. Horrible. Horrible, trust me. I missed my daughter's birth. I got into an altercation in there. It's like, it's horrible, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've got all this stuff going on outside. I'm just hearing about how lit it is on the road for me. Yeah, the music's <laughs> stuck jumping in jail. off. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Everyone's chatting. Uh, I'm just stuck in here, bro. Looking mm -hmm. at a 15 for something that I didn't even do. And these feds, they know that it's not me. They actually yeah, yeah. know it. Do you get me? There's no evidence that's pointing to me other than a picture that two police officers saying look like me. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? So two police officers can look at a picture and say, I think that's Kevin Giorgio. And that's it, I'm fucked. That's it. I go to prison for seven and eight months and that's it. Mm. That's how easy it is. With all like the false starts and like blockages and stops that have happened to you, because obviously like shows have been stopped, there's like so much. I mean, yeah. we're gonna be here half hour if we yeah, miss yeah, just yeah, the issues. Yeah, yeah. How do you stay motivated? Because you're so deep in the game now. And like, obviously, you were playing the music <laughs> just before we press record. And the music still slaps. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Everything still sounds hard. You still sound as hungry for it now I just, as you did back then. Uh, bro, I just think I'm sick. I think I'm a sick rapper. I think I'm a sick... I'm sick at being creative. I'm, I mm. love music. I love being creative. I love making a song that I could drive home to. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah, gas yeah. my... Like, that's what I... So I guess that's what keeps me going. Obviously, it's, it's music. I love music, bro. So, I, I, as for as for as long as for as long as I can do it, I'm gonna do it. Do you get what I'm saying? Who are you making the music for? Like, what's I, what's the I, goal? I, when you sit I down make to music record? for myself. Right. I do. Like, but I'm I, I'm fortunately, I'm just like millions of other people out there. Like, right. what I like, millions of other people like. We yeah, all like yeah, the yeah. same stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I try to bear that in mind when I'm making music. But I do make music for myself. Mm -hmm. But because I know that people are going to relate to me. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And they're going to relate to what I feel as well because everyone goes through the same things more or less. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of the artists that I've spoken to that have that mentality, they're making the best music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the ones that are like, they just they can listen to their own music and they do. They'll make yeah, an yeah, album yeah. and that's all they'll listen to. That's all they'll listen to. Yeah, yeah, facts. 
until the next Facts, album. But I'm 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 also like I can make any kind of song. Like I don't I don't have to talk about the streets all the time. I don't have to talk about gang banging or guns like mm-hmm. or shotting like I could talk about my gal, I could talk about my daughter, I could talk about my mum, I could talk about pain. Yeah, yeah. I could talk about growing up, like I could talk about whatever. Yeah, so yeah. it's just wh- however I'm feeling when I come in, whatever that beat makes me feel on that in that moment is gonna be what I make. Do yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? It just depends on the instrumental that I'm feeling on the day. Mm-hmm. It's all energies, you get me? And the instrumental drives the mood so much. Just as one, as one certain as instrument as, yeah, can just as change. As soon as I hear a little instrument that makes me feel a certain way, however that instrument makes me feel, it is gonna depend on how that song's gonna come out. I feel like for someone who'd never heard of you before, mm. they listen from the first song you dropped right up to the latest project. Yeah. They probably know everything about you at this point. For Even sure. like all the things, like your favorite color, the food you like, <laughs> the things you did when you were younger, like yeah, absolutely yeah. everything about yeah, your life, yeah, basically. Yeah. And there's a lot of like through listening to that. There's so much, like you said, there's a lot of pain music in there. Yeah, yeah. And it's like it's very clear in the early years that you had like a very deep upbringing. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you're yeah. exposed to like a lot of violence and stuff from the estate. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. like, how young were you when you were exposed to like the first violent thing that you saw? Bro, bro, I was ba- we was babies, bro. Me and my brother, I I lived in a um a block called Longlands House. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you lot know about Stonebridge, but all the blocks used to connect. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? So yeah, I yeah. could literally go from south side of Stonebridge all the way to north side of Stonebridge without touching the floor. Right. Yeah. So you yeah. could just run through blocks. So every block's connected. You go through the next block. But um, blood. I've seen I've seen like bodies. Throw, thrown out windows on the floor. I remember one time I was driving to school, um, um, riding to, not school, to the shop for my mum one time. Another man was thrown off the 21th floor of Haskell House. Right. I remember in the whole chalk thing, you know, like, mm-hmm. you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Like, since we was kids, bro, it's violence has been a normal thing for us. Crackhead shootings outside my windows all the time. You get me? Like, it's just... It's, it, it was it's just a standard thing for us it was so normal it's only until you grow up and you get to leave that environment mm. you realize it's not normal what point was that for you i guess when i started doing music right like what like music kind of proper saved my life it it allowed me to leave the estate cuz like before that i didn't I didn't see outside of Stonebridge. Do you know what I'm saying? And, mm. and many people are like me growing up in Stonebridge like yeah man I, we might go around northwest and here and there but you don't see outside of your estate do you get what i'm saying right yeah, yeah like yeah. mentally do you know what i'm saying you don't see outside your estate and i guess um i guess when i first started doing music and i started getting fans here and there and doing shows and going to all of these different places and getting love and just yeah that's when you kind of realize that where you're from is not normal seeing you get someone me? drop from the 21st floor is not just mm, a daily activity yeah outside. do you know what i'm saying is it something that you get desensitized to if you're exposed to it from young, yeah. it just is part of yeah. normal I've, bro, life I've seen, up. I've seen multiple, I've seen multiple people dead. Right. Like, do you get me? I've been shot at bare times. Do you get what I'm saying? I've, I've seen all of this stuff so many times growing up like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm numb to a lot of stuff now. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I know through like, through your life, you've had people close to you along the way just yeah, being yeah, killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that becomes a regular occurrence, like, is there still grief? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, but I don't. There's grief for sure, but I just, I don't feel like um, man grieve like normal people. Do you that's, get what yeah, I'm and saying? that's what I was trying to get at. Like, yeah, if, yeah. if 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 my cousin died, I would grieve a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I haven't had like multiple cousins and multiple close friends, yeah. especially when it's murder as yeah, well. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not something I've experienced. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what I'm saying. Mur- like, majority of the time, it has been murder. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, majority of the times that I've lost people has been murder. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I guess, yeah, we just we just become so used to it. We don't get to grieve properly or... Yeah. Like, I've got, I've got aunties or uncles or, or whatever you want to say, like certain family members that I'm not really that close to, mm-hmm. they might die. I'm not going to feel as bad as I would with someone that I'm around every day. Do you of know course. what I'm saying? So yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. varies, depends on, but it, obviously it hurts all the same, but I don't know, I guess I'm just numb to a lot of stuff, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the new project. Yeah. I Ain't Perfect. I Ain't Perfect. Finally landed. 
Bro, yeah. for some of us, we've been waiting 10 years for this. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you know what it is, yeah? I wasn't going to call it I Ain't Perfect, you know that. I swear to God, it was just the, the stigma around the whole name. I, I felt like it was a shackle weighing around my neck, right, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But, and, um, and I thought, you know what, it's the perfect name for it because... Like and it's cause it's, this album's a proper street album, like it's proper grease. This is like this is this is this is how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? This mm -hmm. is the this is what I've grown up in. This is what I've come from. This is what's made me who I am. This this street stuff here. Yeah. And and that's that's where I'm at with it. And that's that's probably the original. That's what I ain't perfect should have been mm -hmm. from the start. Do you get me? It was getting to a point where like I ain't perfect was almost your chronic. No, no, it was Detox. That's yeah, it. You yeah, know the Dre yeah, album, yeah, Detox. Yeah, 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 it yeah. was almost your Detox. We're like, yeah, yeah. It was so long in the... Like, we were waiting for it as fans. We were just like, well, when, when's yeah, it coming? Yeah, when's yeah, it coming? Yeah. And I remember you speaking about it from time, bro. Like, yeah, you've, had, yeah. you've had the name from... From 10 years at least. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily. I'm glad because it wasn't a disappointment. Yeah. No, you know, when you were like, had you called it something else, I wouldn't have had any expectations. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, another yeah, project, yeah, yeah. let's listen through. But because it, this was the one. Yeah. Like, oh, this is what we've been waiting for. I made sure that there was no fillers on the album. I made sure that everything mm. was slapping. I could have put way more songs on there as well. Yeah. I could have. Did you get well, me? You showed me the yeah, live. Yeah, like, like... I could have put <laughs> way more. But I was thinking, do you know what? This is enough. Do you get me? Like this here, like I'm happy with how this is going. I, I sat down, I listened to it. And it just it just all made sense to me. Do you get me? And I was mm -hmm. thinking like, yeah, this is how I want to bounce back. This is where I'm coming from. Is this the first project you've released not in jail? Yeah. But I went jail over I ain't perfect, didn't it? What do you mean you went jail over it? Like, so obviously you, you know the whole story where the fucking the guy tried to t hold my stuff for ransom. That we was my next. It. That was my next. Then he question. snitched on me. Right. So this is over the I Ain't Perfect album. Right, but obviously, okay. when I come out of jail, I changed the whole album round now. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So that so break that down a little bit then, because all I know, the only details I have about that is that the album was held hostage. Yeah. And for me, that, <laughs> that sentence doesn't even make Makes sense. sense. <laughs> so I don't. What do you mean? All right, so basically, uh, long story short, um, I met this guy. Just some idiot guy, yeah. He was just on me, on me, wanted to do a song. I didn't really he wasn't a great rapper, so I was fobbing him off for ages. Right. But I then then he came to me with this producer. He was like, Bro, I've got the sickest producer. And at the time I needed a sick engineer and right. producer because I was trying to get this album done and I and I, I like you can't I can't work unless the engineer is super cold. Right, yeah. To yeah. get me, like I can't do it. Like I the songs my ideas don't come out as well as I want them to. Anyway gone to link this engineer the engineer's cold sick producer sick engineer so i'm like all right wicked so this engineer is staying in this rapper's guy's house right okay kind of his studio's in the back garden mm -hmm. so um anyway gone up there started working um recorded the whole album in the studio right with the engineer and then three just as we're coming to the end of the album it's come out that the rapper has been fucking the engineer's girl the whole time. <laughs> right. So now the engineer doesn't want to deal with both of them anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this this engineer is so cold and so good that this guy can't and this girl can't do music without him. Right, okay. You get me? So yeah. once they realise that they fucked up their relationship with him, they start to try and grab things and anything that they could gather up to to salvage the situation. Right, yeah. So anyway, the youths ended up locking the door on the studio, put a lock on it, and he's practically asking for money for me to get my album. So you're nothing to do with that nothing situation. Nothing to do with then. the situation. Right. But because my album's in there and the, the, I don't know if he was feeling like he deserved something from my album. Yeah. I don't know or where, what his training of thought was. But yeah. But this youth's a rapper. He talks greasy on his songs. He's like, does bits and bobs here and you're just like so anyway man's like all right cool we're just, we, my man's got a key the the engineer's got a key to the to the studio he lives mm -hmm. there he pays rent so he's got every right to be on the property and go and get his things do you get yeah, me yeah, yeah. the computer's his the album's mine right yeah. he's asked me to drop him up there to go and get the stuff no problem just go and get the things mm -hmm. but as we've got there <laughs> we've seen 
we've seen his girl, like his ex girlfriend, running in the place trying to get the computer. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we're like, raw. So she's on the phone to the the rapper. You saying, oh, they're here now. They're here. They're here. They're here. Like, anyway. So I've just told my man, look, just go and get your stuff, and then we'll cut. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's gone in there, um, got the computer, put it in the car. Um, I got my friends are at the bottom of the road too. My friends are at the bottom of the road. So as I'm looking at the bottom of the road, while my man's gone inside to get the computer and come back out, I'm waiting for him to come back out. <laughs> I've seen this little altercation going on. That Not altercation, but it looks like something's happening at the bottom of the road. Yeah. So I've left my brethren. He's put the computer in, run back in to get his passport and the rest of his things. Yeah, yeah. Because he's, all his stuff's in there. He lives there. So I've drove down to the bottom of the road to see what's happening because my friends are down there. It's to you. He's come flying around the corner, but he's blocked the whole road off. You get me? We're on some thin little road. He's like, no, no one can't go nowhere. Right. You get me? Yeah. Like, blood, move the car. He doesn't want to move the car anyway. Long story short, windows got smashed. He got beat up, and and then we, he moved in it. And then we got out of there, and then fucking yeah, he just snitched. He right. told them a whole bag of lies that man stabbed him, and man done this, and man done that. Everything was a lie. Yeah, you get me. It, like uh, just a crazy situation, bro. So that led to you being arrested. Did you go to prison? For yeah, that? yeah, I went to prison. I've done five months in jail, got right. bail, and then I came out and done seventeen months on tag. On tag, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This youth's got a restraining order against me, like... Mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, that's... Well, you're not perfect, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the story, man. You said once in a real early interview that I Ain't Perfect would be your last album. Yeah, I what, was. What changed your mind about that? Because you've also said about this year. That's another thing. You said this year you were going to drop four. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have got four albums. I've seen, yeah. Well, yeah. I think within the space of now... Four albums will come out. That, I mean, that's going to be one a week. Nah, nah. One every <laughs> three months, four right. months. Okay. Yeah. So these four albums, that's going to cover the next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what changed your mind about I Ain't Perfect being like your final album? Um, I just, you know what it was? It was just the name as a whole. I felt like it was a... I felt like I just needed to release it and get it out right. and then move on. Do you have um a favourite track? I don't know. I think left and right. Mm. This is one of my favourite tracks. I'm going to be shooting a video for that soon as well. I love the storytelling element. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a big storytelling yeah, rap yeah, fan. Yeah, like, yeah. I love just when a rapper yeah, can yeah. paint that I, I picture in my right. head. I love the Bounty Killer tune as well, just the fact mm. that it's Bounty Killer. Yeah. How did you connect with Bounty? Like, where did the link come from? Um, one of my bridgings from Stonebridge, like, one of the olders and that, he's, he's like, he used to be run a sound DJ and okay, sound right. and that. And, he brings a lot of artists from over there and mm. he made the link for me. Did you guys record together or was it like nah, make nah, the track nah, and nah. He send can't it come he just... here and I couldn't go there. Oh, he can't come here? No, no. Oh, I didn't know that. Jesus and that. I All was right. trying to get him here to shoot the video because I can't fly out yet because I'm still on license for mm. this thing. When does that end? Uh, April, I think. Okay. Yeah, April. So, Yard. Yeah. First I'm of April. Ch- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see how it goes, innit? I'm probably going to have another album out by then. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I would have liked to have shot that one in Jamaica, though. Yeah, yeah, For sure. I like it when, like, dancehall artists go on hip-hop. There's been so many different yeah, yeah, examples yeah. of that through That's time. That's like a like... drilly-type beat as well, isn't yeah, it? Like the yeah, bass yeah, is, the, ba- the beat's evil. The beat is just... Mm. That's a good way to describe, actually, evil. The beat's just horrible, isn't it? It's just... Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, just when you hear it, you have to push your face up. So that's one of my favorites. But just because it's him in it, Bounty Killer, doing man. a tune with Bounty Killer was a really big thing for me. I don't know if it was for how anyone else perceived it, but for mm. me, I literally, as a child growing up, like Raga was the kind of the first music I was really into. Yeah, growing up where I grew up, do you get me? All my friends were black and Jamaican, and so I kind I kind of grew up on Bounty Killer. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was a of big thing for me, man. I feel like Ambush for me was the best feature on the project. Yeah, I think that is the best song on Mm. the project. Like, my favourites are Left and Right and The Bounty Killer, but that's because of just... What it means to you. What it means to me, but I feel like the Blocker song is the biggest record on Mm. I Am Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ambush did bits, man. I feel like he doesn't really get, like... The flowers he deserves yeah, right yeah. now because he's... he will though as long as he stays consistent and because he kills every beat he touches so yeah. as long as he stays consistent, soon people are not going to be able to say nothing. You just mm-hmm. got to keep at it. But um, we just shot the video for Blocker, sick. So that's about to drop. 
Frontline was another one for me. That yeah, was like, Frontline's a sick song as well. The beat for that's fucking yeah. hard, bro. That's like, some real hip hop shit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same yeah, with no, Left and Right as well. Yeah, the, the, the beat selection on the project is like A1. Thank you, man. Like, what, what's your process when you come to finding beats for stuff? Do you just have a huge folder and you click through until it jogs you or what? Nah, do you know what it is? Um, I'm that majority of that project, I've been working with a producer called uh, J Rock. Okay. producer and engineer he's like one of the sickest ever mm-hmm. and we just we just clicked you get me we found like like he gets me I get him do you know what I'm saying and, yeah 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 and most of the stuff we made on the spot do you get oh, me right. so it wasn't like raw so from like, scratch so he yeah like he might building. play a one little idea and I'm like raw that sounds hard and then he alright cool we'll work on that then. then he'll start billing the rest of the beat mm-hmm. I'll be writing I'll lay down the hook Boom, then he'll lay down the rest of the beat, then I'll write the verse. And Sick. we kind of made the whole out like the whole most of the the album like that. Cause he produced him and his producers produced like eight of that ra- records on there. Right, okay. To get me. And then obviously I've got a couple others, but my next album, Right Foot Forward, is all J Rock and his right, producers. Okay. I find a lot of the time like when an artist works solely with one producer for a project. It's, yeah. The, the the final product just is it's just fluid. It's do you know much, what I mean? It all yeah, just works. It goes together, in it. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I know you've got eighteen thousand songs in there ready to <laughs> yeah. go, but it doesn't feel like you just went, oh yeah, that one and that one, and I just pieced it together from a list that you had. It yeah. feels like you put this together mm. for I ain't perfect. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, that's now, and we literally did. You get me? There was a couple. Yeah, yeah. There was a couple songs. Like I took loads of songs off. Do you get mm. me? There was lots of songs that didn't make I Ain't Perfect that was for I Ain't Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with yet. Do you know what I'm saying? Originals was an interesting one. Yeah. Nostalgia right there. Like, how did you pick who to bring in the track? Bro, I do, do you know what it was? I just, I had this idea, you know, and and, and I knew that my bridge and Lefty, God rest his soul, um, Lefty would have loved something like that. Mm. You get me? like, And, and everyone that I got on the track, it would have been someone that Lefty rated as well. Right, okay. Like Mike GLC, Jaja Souls, SAS. And these were guys that when I first started rapping, like when I first started rapping, these men were killing it. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? Mike GLC was killing it. Jaja yeah, yeah. Souls, PDC was killing it. And SAS was in America with Dipset killing it. They were doing their it. thing, yeah, yeah. So, so like, and this is when I, I just started. Do you know what I'm saying? So these were the men that I, that I looked at and was like, yeah, you lot of killing mm. it you know what I'm saying so I was just for me it was just like a a hail up to, to let them know that I was, yeah, I was yeah. fucking with them you know what I'm no, saying no I like that because those names in particular and I mean there's like no, there's loads of there's people around that era there's so many do you know many who I did holler at I hollered at Kalashnikov as right, well okay, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to get on that record but oh. he he wasn't he was on some bougie thing not a bougie thing but I just don't think he wanted to be known as some original thing I don't know mm. he wasn't you feeling know, I that idea if, I don't know if it was bougie no I've spoken with Clash yeah. quite a lot recently and like Actually, over the last couple of years, I know, and I mean, it, on his new album, it's um, it's apparent there. So I'm not saying anything no one doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. He was going through proper hard times yeah, when yeah, his mum yeah. passed and that. So I know he sort of stepped away from the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm but really sorry to hear that. That um, would be that would be amazing, man. K. Yeah, yeah from... I want I wanted him to get on that record, man, to get me. But um, yeah, he just wasn't on it. But it was fine anyway. We yeah. made it happen. Something you two. Have got yeah, to get yeah. I'll the definitely work that, with that would be, I like him, man. He's a sick, sick guy, sick guy. So we learned Ed Sheeran's a fan as well. Oh, yeah. He did the inter- you see that clip? He did yeah, the interview yeah, with Chucky. Yeah, that's hard, isn't it? That's what I'm saying, that- man. Yeah. But you know what it is? I remember I've I've been around around the same time as Ed. We got signed at the same time. I, I, right, I've okay. met Ed a couple times and uh, once was at his birthday party, his first industry birthday party. I met him. I was right. there. Yeah, yeah. We chatted. And then the second time I met him was, remember I went to jail, come out, he had blown up. Mm. But I was still running through the Rock Nation thing and the Sony thing. So I was at the Brits one time and I was with like Rita, Calvin Harris at the table. Mm -hmm. And like, obviously everyone's in the room were at the Brits. So you can imagine like, and obviously Ed was the only one that literally came over, got up off his table, came over to me, shook my hand, congratulated me. So I always knew that we knew each other and always knew that he fucked with me a little bit but mm-hmm. I didn't know he was really fucking with the music like that he's really a Cake Coke fan bro like yeah, yeah, really yeah. a fan yeah that's sick man Trust I loved me. finding that you, out you never know who's listening do you know what I'm saying that's the, so yeah mm-hmm. hopefully me and Ed could do something in the future that would be sick I was gonna say have you, have you guys like maintained any form of relationship from when you saw him back then nah not really I've just 
you know, like we would just go different ways, and then Ed's super big, bro. You get me? He's like, probably one of the, you. How do you even reach Ed? How do you get yeah, through to him? Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and he doesn't have a phone. Exactly. You know, he like, so I heard that somewhere. He you're punching in the wind trying to get through to my <laughs> yeah, man. Basically. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> he's doing it right, though. He doesn't nah, have a but, phone. Um, big him up, though, man. He's a proper, really down to earth guy. I really respect him, man. And, I've never yeah. met him. I haven't met him yet, I should say. Yeah, yeah. But I get that from him. Yeah, like, when yeah. I see his interviews he's a and. Sick guy, man how he maneuvers but even down to like people that he still stays in contact yeah, with yeah 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 like, he doesn't need to nah he's Ed Sheeran like, he doesn't yeah, yeah, need yeah. to like yeah 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 but he still and that's does. what I mean like I, I just genuinely love people like that as well do you know what I'm saying because mm. during my 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 um, journey along this I've just bumped into so many people that um, I've just they're just different people like when you first meet them and then when they get to certain places they're just different people do you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. and Ed is not He's literally the same guy, so seems that I just really respect him for that, man. Yeah, hundred percent. Are you allowed to perform anywhere at the oh, moment? Oh, blood! You would never guess what, bro. This is the craziest story. So, like <laughs> around what four months ago, maybe six months ago, mm -hmm. um, the feds have gone to my my grand's house in Stonebridge, where I used to live before ages ago. I haven't been there in. I, I moved out of there like I don't know, ten years ago, maybe. Yeah. Or more. But um, the feds have gone to my grand's house six months ago, yeah? <laughs> in uniform and that's like six of them. So obviously my granddad, he, my door used to get kicked in so much that he's just, he just spazzes when he sees the feds at the door now. Like, what right. the fuck do you want now kind of right, thing? Right, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so my granddad's bust the door, he's spazzing. They're like, no, no, calm down. We're not here for that. They're like, um, yeah, we're looking for Kevin. We just... We noticed that he's been really quiet lately and we wanted to help him perform in London again. Yeah. And they were like, they left this number for me to call, but I didn't call it. But I was just thinking, why do you not want to help me now? I said, do you do they even want to help me or they just want me to do shows so they can assassinate me because I'm doing this coke conspiracy thing right now? Yeah, yeah. like... I when I'll has be, the feds honest, ever bro, wanted I'm, to help me? Like I just I've never heard of that in my life, like, especially blood. not uniformed officers. Turning bro, up I couldn't at the believe house, it. Like... I mean, I'm still. I got the number somewhere, but I ain't phoning that. I just, I, I just didn't get it. Like, why now? Like, what is it? Why do you not want to come and help me now? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You lot just fucked up my whole shit for the, my whole career. Yeah. What? Well, why now? Why do you not want to help me? Or do, do you not want to help me? Or do you want, want something from me? Do you think it could be a case of they know? that you're not going to call. They've given you so much trouble and so much stuff. Why You've got so much house? history with the police. Bad Why history, of my course. House? But do you think, like, they could use it as, like, a... How can I word this? So they can, they know you're not going to take them up on it, but they get to say, well, we tried to help him. Yeah. We, we, we said we Maybe. would help him perform, but he didn't take us up Maybe. on it. So they're like, but they're, like, 10 years too late. Hmm. So do you, you they you, banned me performing called? in London for ten years. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you not gonna help me now? What are you not gonna do? You not gonna put shows on for me? The feds. I mean police, are you not gonna like what's gonna how's this gonna work? I mean a K me? but a K Coke headline show in London would sell out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'd and I'd love to do one, do you get me? And I I don't know, man. I just I just I just I just have so much bad experiences with the police that yeah, yeah, yeah. I just do not trust them at all with anything like yeah. I can't we can't function I can't function with the police we can't do that do you think it's you maybe worth do? like finding a booking agent or a promoter or Live Nation or someone and just being like there's the number maybe pattern it and then maybe. you don't have to do Bruh, that physically yourself my like, last booking agent he must have had all I must have stressed the <laughs> fuck out of this guy <laughs> Do you get me? <laughs> yeah. He probably never wants to hear my name again. Yeah, Do you know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying, blood? Like, like the, this is what the feds done to me, bro. Okay. And and they left a big black cloud over my name as well. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, the feds did that, bro. Like, lots of people in the industry right now don't want to fuck with me because of the feds. Do you think the stigma is still there then, even 100%. now? 100%. Yeah. 100%. The, my, the road beef's still active. Fucking nothing's not really changed. It's changed. I've got older and, and I've tried to keep my nose clean and that, but mm -hmm. nothing's really changed. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't know. Get Live Nation I, on it, bro. Yeah. Get, yeah. get them to call because, yeah. like, we, I feel, I honestly feel like, especially with the, the landscape of UK rap now. Yeah. 
with even people like Potter, for example. Yeah, like, yeah. Doing I, what do you know he's what? Doing, big, the success big up Potter that he's as well, because um, do you know what? Yeah, I really respect what he's doing right now. Mm. So I just want to give him a shout out as well, man. Cause yeah. I love what he's doing, man. Definitely. You guys have got a track together, right? Yeah, yeah. We done something together. The track's cold as well. well. How come it didn't make I Ain't Perfect? It's on the next album. It's on right yeah, foot yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. Is there a release for that album yet? Do you know? Do you have a date? I don't know. I might drop it on my birthday. Which is? May the 22nd. Okay. Don't make us wait that long, bro. No, but I'm going to be <laughs> dropping it. I'm, I'm going to drop like four singles Leading before up to I drop the album. Mm-hmm. So... I'm gonna give you like from the from the New Year starts, you're gonna get a single every four weeks. Sick. Do you get what I'm saying? And yeah, then I'll yeah. drop the album. But my next album, I'm really really excited about. Is it the best one yet? It's just I don't know. It just like obviously I love I Ain't Perfect. It's super street. It's super where I came from. It's super that. Mm-hmm. It's the original. K-Cole. And it's new as well. Let's not talk like it's an old album. Like this, it's current. It's yeah, only just dropped. Yeah, that, so we just dropped it. How long? How long's it been? Two like, weeks? Three weeks? What was it? Thirty first of October, right? Dropped. Yeah. So been like three, three weeks. weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. The album's been out for three weeks. So. But um, so yeah. But then my next album is proper sick as well, man. Like it's just a, it's a different. It's proper different from I I ain't perfect. It's mm-hmm. called Right Foot Forward. So the message is a little bit different on there. Right. Um probably show a lot more growth mm-hmm. compared to I Ain't Perfect. Because <laughs> I Ain't Perfect's a little bit more ignorant in it and yeah. street and... But I feel like that one's rounding off the chapter for you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, one of the songs you played, I won't mention it on here, but one of the songs you played, it sonically sounds like a new version, like it, it's new music. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? It yeah. wasn't... If someone played it and I didn't know no, who it was, you know I wouldn't it... necessarily be like, oh, yeah, it's definitely Cope. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what it is? Um... I just, during that, with this new producer I've been working with, with J-Rock, sick guy, I just found a new element of a way to work and just trying new things and, mm. do you know what I'm saying? Like, And I've got, I've got like some crazy, crazy features on the next album and I just, yeah, it's, it's going to be a big one. I, I, I'm really excited to let people hear that one as well. Mm. Do you get yeah. me? I'm excited to hear it, man. But at the same time, like I said, like I Ain't Perfect is out. Yeah. For me, that's still circulating. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. not a fan of people who are like, they'll listen to an album for a week and then get onto you and be like, yeah, what's next? Yeah, where's the next like, one? When's, yeah, when's yeah. the next but one But you know what? It is, the game is proper fickle like that though, man. Fans are so fickle now. Mm. They get flooded with so much information just all the time stops. and so much music all the time that they just lose interest quickly. But I think I Ain't Perfect is going to be an album that will definitely last the test of time because mm-hmm. it's so musically um, well done and lyrically mm-hmm. that it, it's going to be able to bounce for a while. <coughs> I think people's going to take take a while to digest it as well. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? There's a lot oh, of... It's one of them ones where the more I listen to it, I'll hear something else. Like, I didn't exactly. hear the first yeah, one. I hear yeah, another yeah. This line. Is, this, like, is what oh, people, shit, okay. this is what people's telling me now. Like, raw, like every time I listen to it, like I catch something different. Do you know what I'm saying? So, That's it. It's going to be one of those ones. Mm. Do you believe in the term like industry gatekeepers? Do you think there are people within the industry that yeah. allow certain artists through and then block yeah. other artists? Uh, there, yeah, there's there's certain things that an industry gatekeeper can't stop. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? But there is certain things that an industry gatekeeper can. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? Like, I'm probably being stopped from doing lots of things right now. Like, I don't, I just dropped my album and didn't get no industry support. Right. No DJs, no radio. One DJ, come on, give me. Give oh, yes, my dog. <laughs> give, give me ratings here, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, no, no, like, and that's even like down to Charlie Sloth. I didn't see, see from him. Mm. No Kenny All Star, no, no one. Like, no Tim Westwood, no one. Like, and I have relationships with these people, but I don't know what happened. In my experience, like with a lot of artists, they'll get like pluggers involved or do you yeah. know what I mean? So people that do the reach outs yeah, yeah, for you, they'll yeah, reach yeah, out yeah. and be like, Oh, Cope's yeah, got an yeah, album yeah, coming, yeah. do you wanna do this and that? Yeah, yeah. but you like, know what my thing is, I kinda spoke to everyone in advance. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? I brought man down, listened to the album, da 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 so I was expecting a little bit more mm-hmm. support from people. So the conversations were had in the yeah, 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 but yeah. um obviously when the time came it just I didn't get the support from man, so mm. I don't know if there's a problem there or if there isn't, I don't know, but Obviously, I just can't even watch that stuff anyway. I've got so much music to go. I'm kind of happy with how things have gone anyway. Right. I've done really well. That was my next my question, own. if you were happy with it. Yeah, yeah. I've done really well on my own with nothing. No industry, no radio, no mm-hmm. no DJs, no nothing. That's just me and Instagram and my fans. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I'm happy, man. I guess that comes back to what I was saying 
My question about the industry gatekeepers is if you feel like there were blockers. There is. There's people that set in place that can say yeah and no. In terms of you being able to reach your fans directly with the YouTube channel and with Instagram Yeah, yeah but there's now. still, there's still <clears throat> certain things that you can't do. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Without someone saying, giving you the go ahead. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like for instance, you can't get um, Apple main page and Spotify main page and all without of these main else. page without, got you. without so they don't just do that. You got to have someone that can get you that stuff. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. Radio, playlists, they, you can't just do that. You have to have someone that can get you that stuff. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's there's a system that's set in place that you have to go through and then someone there says, all right, cool. All right, right cool. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, got you, okay. And so what that to me, that is an industry gatekeeper, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's someone that says yes and no. Get me? Depending sure. on what, however they feel about you as an artist or what they think the fans feel about you. Not even you as an artist. Sometimes it comes down to personal relationships. Right? You upset the wrong too. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that it. too. We've seen what happened with Wiley. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, fully. Wiley said the wrong thing once and that's it. He's gone. They've just Wiped dismissed off. him off everything. Crazy. Crazy. With your knowledge of the music industry, yeah. with your experience and what you know musically, like sonically, I feel like you'd make a really good artist manager. Maybe. I just don't have the patience to deal with other people, man. <laughs> I don't. I've tried to help so much people in the past. It's been evident in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried to help a lot of artists come through and, and um, they just... Do you, you know there's a saying that, that that says familiarity breeds contempt? Right, okay, yeah. Which yeah. means like, like when people, before they really know who you are, they have this image of you. And then once they get to know you, they then start to become familiar with you. Mm. And then they start to feel like, they are you. Then they start to feel like they're better than you. Right. Like, and it gets to that stage. And I, I just can't be dealing with helping ungrateful people all the time. Like, I've done it so many times and I've never got anything back from it. Mm -hmm. I've never, like, even the respect has never really been there. Do you know what I'm saying? I right. just, yeah. after a while, I just, I just can't do it, man. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's hard to work with artists. And plus, I know that I'm hard work as well. Do you get what I'm right. saying? So yeah, God yeah. forbid I meet, I meet another me and... Oh, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, yeah. it's a shame because, like I say, I feel like you would be a good manager. Nah, I, do you but, know what? If the time, if the right person comes along, yeah, like the right person that I could, and right now I'm too busy focusing on myself to be thing. able to look after anyone else. Do you know what I'm saying? I and mean, that's probably what was the 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 problem before when I was trying to help other artists. They was expecting more from me than I could give them because yeah. I'm already focusing on my own shit as well. Do you know what I'm saying? It's but, a, but sorry. at that time, sorry, at that time, I had people in place that could handle looking after them. But I think they, right. they just wanted me, do you know what I'm saying? And expected more from me. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't it's know. It's definitely man. a difficult thing to balance if you're active as an artist. Mm. Very, very difficult. Mm. Or maybe later in life, once, mm. once you're done recording Once I'm done with releasing. music and that, yeah, yeah. Once I'm done with music like that, then maybe I'll start. Mm. So what happens now? Like, obviously, you've got the next... 12 months kind of is it like a solid plan that you have obviously you've got the yeah. music there but like like you said you can be very impulsive so yeah like, yeah no, you've no, got no. it there I will it just one day like do you know it is like this obviously the, I Ain't Perfect was literally the start of my next role you get me so it's 2. like 2.0 yeah so I Ain't Perfect was the plan you get what I'm saying right. I've dropped that mm -hmm. I've got my next my campaign's probably gonna start I'm gonna let this breathe till February okay and I'll probably start my my um, right foot forward campaign in February. Mm -hmm. Drop the album on my birthday in May, and then just move on, innit? it? Yeah, yeah. Next album, next album. Just build. I got something there. else that's really crazy coming out next year. But I can't really talk about it as well. I hate and the it's, fact it's, you've even mentioned I'm it. I'm sorry. Because now I know. my job is to ask you about yeah, it. Yeah, I know, but I can't. <laughs> but um, something that's gonna be so big that it's gonna be so sick as well for the UK. Okay. And it's coming out next year. And this is like a musical thing or it's like... It's, yeah. It's I said, a, I have to ask you about it. It's Even a bit, you said it's you can't, a bit, I can't, I can't really, it. Yeah, I can't really <laughs> talk on it too much right now. Mm -hmm. But obviously soon, you're gonna, everyone's going to start seeing what it is. It's going to be massive. It's going to be everywhere. Sick. And I'm, I'm one of like the key people in it as well. So it'll be sick. Amazing. Yeah. Well, bro, like... I. I I always enjoy our conversations, yeah, but yeah. I feel like this one for me is this one's been my favourite so far. Yeah, because the energy I get from you now is it's proper like 
it's like fresh start energy. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. It's like... Yeah, I guess I kind of am having a fresh start, man. You get me? Like, I've been through all the things and problems and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Got it out the way now. It kind of is a fresh start for me, man. Yeah. I ain't perfect drop. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally, you get me? So the, sh- the shackles are gone. And yeah, man, I'm just excited to get this new music out. That's it now. I'm just focusing on... Um, how and having fun with how I'm gonna drop my new music. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, I don't key. have to worry about making music now. I'm worried about it's how I'm gonna there. drop it, when, mm. which is kind of the fun part. Do you think you'll be able to stay out of prison? Hundred percent. I'm definitely not going back to jail. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've got I've got a whole family, man. I've got kids to feed, and I've got a career to pursue. Yeah, it's time now, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I've just I've that had, stage I, is I, done. Yeah, but even the last time I went jail, bro, I wasn't in the right place to go jail. I didn't want to go jail. Like, I, it, it's not like I had done anything reckless or yeah, stupid yeah. to go jail. It weren't no, I didn't do nothing. I went to get my stuff. You mm. get me? If that was me in that situation, I would have been fine. I wouldn't yeah. have gone to prison. For 100%. It, but because of the rap sheet, because like, it was me. And that's him again, like this. My producer, my engineer guy, he bust case. Right. He didn't go to jail. Yeah, nothing yeah. happened to him. You get me? Me. I got nicked. I had to go jail five months. Tag seventeen months. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just license yeah. for a year. Long. So we gotta get is. off license, man. Then you can start traveling, touring these albums. Yeah, well, let's, bro, let's see how the world goes, bro. Because right now the world's not in a great place, bro. No, it's to get true. me. So, who knows? If they start talking about vaccines for shows, I'm I'm probably won't do a show. Mm. I'll never perform again. Because I'm. I hope that's not the case, bro. We all do, but. I, if that is going to be the case then I'm not performing mm. ever yeah. I'd rather just I'll just release yeah. music from my house Fuck what about it. in the metaverse would you do something in the metaverse what's the metaverse like? oh what? so Facebook yeah, did you know about this Meta? No, so no, Facebook are now called Meta it's not Facebook no more it's called Meta That's it. it's changed its name Facebook is now Meta it's now Meta M-E-T-A and they have said that they're basically creating this whole entire digital universe. Yeah. Virtual reality. I've been There's li- been films about this. Bro, like, listen, I've been saying this stuff for so long and now it's here. Mm, you it's can really buy land happening. online, you know that. That's exactly what it is. The meta- People are buying real estate. So and this is what I'm saying. Can you, this is what, man, you know what's going to happen. You're going to be, this is what's going to happen. Man are going to be in their rooms, yeah. And they're going to have their goggles on. Yeah. And they're never going to leave their yard. And they'll just be out they'll and probably about have in the a metaverse. Straw, like, yeah, yeah. They'll have a straw and a toilet right next to their bed. And but that's how they're going to live. The and point. they'll live their whole life in their goggles. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. I just don't want to live like that, bro. No. That's not that's not how I was born. That's not what we was born for. Do you it's get like me? a voluntary matrix, bro. Like That's what it is. Yeah. And, but that's where it's going. That's where all of this is going. Cryptocurrencies mm-hmm. and... NFTs and did it, did it, did it, all of this, the buying land online. It's that's where it's going. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I, that's what I'm saying. That's not gonna be me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be that person, bro. I, I, I could screw up different. I didn't grow up in an era of technology. Mm. Do you know I think what I'm it's saying? our generation's way of thinking, though. We grew up. Obviously, but that's me and you had different the, different upbringings, kids, but we grew up outside. Like, we were out outside, playing with our like, friends. Man was really outside, you know, yeah. as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Like, three, four, outside my nan's, like, in yeah. the Brit, like, you know what I'm saying? Man's our, outside. Our children's generations, they do that in part, but a lot of it's online. They're playing Minecraft yeah, with each other and they're on headsets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so even that's a first stage of oh, this whole metaverse yeah, digital living because you've got the avatar of my, like my son plays it for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His my mate's daughter's, online. My daughter's hooked on Roblox. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's hooked on it. Crazy. Like, do you Crazy. get me? But um, I, it's just not where, what, what I want, bro. I don't, that's not for me, man. But it'd be me and you, bruv, walking around yeah, in, the, yeah, yeah. in the way. Everything's going to be hey, overgrown. You're not, you're not the cars unicorn. are going to be covered yeah, in yeah, dust. Whatever, Everyone's going to be plugged in and then me and you just yeah, walking around. Whatever, like... bro. I, I'm, I, and hopefully I'm going to try and teach my kids about the outside as well. Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, go and do some fucking, I don't know, hiking or something. Do you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, just yeah. do outside stuff, man. I mean, it's definitely about balance when it comes to that. Yeah, That's yeah. how I do it anyway. So yeah, yeah. I don't, uh, don't, don't get it twisted, completely. though. I do like the fact that I can holler at my bridging in Toronto at, at any time. Do you just know like what I'm FaceTime, saying? Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I do like the fact that we can do stuff like that. I just think that it's just, I don't know, man. It's going a bit far, bro. It's, it's mm-hmm. a lot. There's a lot going on right now, and I just, I don't know, man. Who knows? That's what I'm saying. There's going to be viruses. You won't be able to come out of your yard yeah. without a vaccine. Put your goggles on and everything's all right, guys. Yeah. 
You get me? It's headed that way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking terrifying. Yeah. What a depressing way to finish another. And, look, movie. and that's that's what it is. That's what that's what they're saying. This new world order is, isn't it? This fucking agenda thirty. Yeah. Every yeah, yeah. everyone will own nothing, and everyone will be happy. It'll just all be digital. Yeah. Everyone will own nothing, mm-hmm. but everyone will be happy. Five minutes ago, this was like one of my favorite interviews. Now I just feel sad and depressed. <laughs> <laughs> so. well, no, but obviously, guy, I'm, I'm glad. I, I'm still a strong believer of we are the makers of our reality. Do you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So whatever happens, I know I'm going to be all right. Whatever happens, I know my family's going to be all right because mm-hmm. we're going to make sure. I know God's got us, so we're good. Do you know we're what I'm good. saying? There'll be places for people like us. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They will. Let me ask you one more question, actually, which I... Um... You mentioned earlier, and I nearly touched on it. Believing in God and living the lifestyle that you lived. Yeah. How do they coexist? Um, I don't feel like I had to do anything I didn't have to do. Right. Like, I don't feel like I did anything I didn't have to do. In what? In terms of, like, survival? Literally surviving, yeah. Like, Like, literally. I'm not a bully. I don't bully people. I don't... I don't look down on people. I don't... I never... I never done nothing I never had to do. Right. Everything I did was in survival. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, everything I've had to do was in survival. I'm still living in survival. I'm still trying to survive. Mm-hmm. Like, like, obviously I sin and I, and I pray, but I'm just trying to survive mm-hmm. and feed my family. Like, I, I just, I, don't, I know God loves a trial and I hope he forgives me for, right. <laughs> for the stuff I've done. And yeah, I don't know, man. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't feel like I'm a bad person. I don't feel like my heart's, um, black or dark or horrible like mm-hmm. I feel like I, I'm a clean hearted person do you know what I'm saying so yeah, yeah I do everything with a good intention do you know what I'm saying and that's what matters I think yeah, yeah, yeah. clean right. heart and good intentions we, we saved it at the end we brought it back See, <laughs> yeah. it's my favourite King Kong <laughs> yeah. interview again thank you bro I appreciate nah, your time man I appreciate man. you as well man respect um, for having me we need to do this again after the next couple of albums are dropped yeah catch well up yeah all that stuff. it's going to be a big year so Let's I'm get excited it. for you, bro. Call the police now and get that get the London show pattern, bro. Get the yeah. agents on it. Nah, I, I, I ain't calling them, man. <laughs> Fuck that. Thank you, brother. Respect. <laughs>